with the NASA Kipper World Truck Series 2021 o over and done with and Ben Rhodes being our Truck Series champion. Let's get on now with this video. This is the 2022 NASCAR Camping World Truck Series Mega Entry List. Let's start off with our 2021 Truck Series Champion Team Thor Sport Racing. This team has made, has made some changes with the 13th truck which will be part time this year. As Johnny Sauter will do a full time basis in the series but with 10 racers on this team and the rest on another team. Ty Majeski and the 66th truck will return to the series after a part time effort last year. He will also start on pole for the season opener. Three time truck series champion Matt Crafton will be returning to the 88 truck. Christian Eckes will return to the 98 truck full time. And our defending truck series champion Ben Rhodes will be returning to the 99 truck for 2022. GMS Racing will shrink down to a two truck operation. Grant Finger will return to the team after being with the team uh, in his ARCA days, piloting the, the 23 truck. And Jack Wood. Who, complete, who completed the most of the 2021 season in the 24 truck where he will be returning full time as well. Kyle Busch Motorsports is up next and they will be exactly the same from, from 2021. John Hunter Nemechek will return to the 4 truck to build on his success from last season. Chandler Smith in the 18 truck and multiple drivers will jump the 51 truck including rising Toyota star Corey Helm for 15 races, team owner Kyle Busch for 5 races and the last driver will be for 3 races. Front Row Motorsports will have a brand new driver. Zane Smith will now drive the 38 truck for GM, uh, from GMS Racing 2021. Even though he was about to drive in the Cup Series with Chip Ganassi Racing, but with the team being brought, by, being brought out by Trackhouse, that didn't end up happening. Hitori Racing Enterprises will now expand into a two truck operation with two new, with two new drivers as well. Tyler Ankram will pilot, will pilot the flagship 16 truck and Chase Purdy will drive the newly numbered 61 truck. Both drivers severely underperformed last season. Let's see if this fresh new start can help them rebuild. However, it won't be a fresh start for Purdy as he as he missed out on the season opener due to speed. Nice Motorsports will expand to a five truck operation, but with four full time drivers. Rookie team Tom Dean Thompson will drive the 40 truck. Carson Hosevar will return after a successful rookie season with them making the playoffs in the 42 truck. Chris Wright will drive the 44 truck after driving for Young's Motorsports last season. And rookie Lawless Allen will drive the 45 truck after driving for Nice and Brilliant Brothers racing last season. Winner of the Gateway Dirt National Super Late Model feature, Tyler Carpenter, will drive for Nice at Knoxville. Alamar Friesen Racing will continue to have Stuart Friesen in the 52 truck, but a familiar face will return to the series for 6 races. The Onion and 2 time truck series champion Todd Bodine, who will be aiming to get 800 starts across the top 3 NASCAR series, will race in the, in the 62 truck. McAnally Hilgerman Racing will also expand into a 2 truck team, with Derek Krause returning to the 19 truck, and rookie Colby Howard who was formerly from, G from JD Motorsports in the Xfinity Series, will join the new, 61, uh, the new 91 truck. This team will also make the switch from Toyota Chevy. AM Racing, also myself, and the 22 truck will continue together in the 2022 season. They have successfully qualified for the season opener, and hopefully we get to see this team more in the future this year. Rackley War Racing will continue to race in the Truck Series with NASCAR Reddit's favorite driver Matt Benedetto, who will be driving the, f the 25 truck and will be competing as a rookie for the Truck Series. Following on, let's hope he doesn't say anything. Let's hope he doesn't say anything political this year. DGR or David Gillen Racing hasn't made a lot of changes this season. NASCAR Sims rejoice as Haley Deegan will return to the one truck. Tanner Gray will also return to the 15 truck to see if he can improve from last season. As for the 17 truck, it will be a rotation of drivers. Taylor Gray will do the most of the races, I think for uh, 6 to 7 races, but I might be wrong. Ryan Fries will return as a deal with SHR as he becomes a reserve driver for the team, as he will be doing 7 races. And, Ry and Riley Herbs will drive for the team in a season opener. Young's Motorsports will return with Jesse Little and Kaz Gorilla in the O2 truck for 12 races and 11 races respectively. Spencer Boyd will stay, at, will stay at the team, but with a different number, as he will drive the 12 truck, and the train truck will be a part-time truck. Danny Bowen and, and Young's Main Sports Arca driver Leland Honeyman will, will both do one race, while Matt Mills will be doing four races. 
Heel mode sports will expand from 1 to 2 trucks and will switch to Toyotas with one full time and the other part time. Team owner Timmy Hill will drive the full time 56 truck and in the new part time 5 truck will be brother uh, will, will be his brother, Tyler Hill, who will be doing select races for them. CR7 Motorsports will, will run a 2 truck team and won't and none of them will be Cody Robra who is the team owner in any of them. 2021 Xfinity rookie Blaine Perkins will compete full time in the, in the truck series for the first time in the 9 truck. While Arca Series regular Jason Kitzmiller will attempt to qualify for the season opener in the 97 truck. However, Kitzmiller didn't even post a speed in qualifying, which means he, he did not qualify for the season opener. On point, most sports will have a new driver in the 30 truck. Talladega winner Tate Fogelman will leave Young's Most Sports to join on point most sports for the 2022 season. Reunion Brothers Racing will continue to have a rotation of drivers in their, in his, in their trucks in 2022. The 33 truck will be driven by Jason M. White for Daytona, so the, so the Canadian version for, yeah, the Canadian Jason White. Chris Hacker will do some races in the 34 truck, and the newly number 43 truck will be driven by the grandson of Richard Petty, Thad Moffat, as he will compete in the season opener. Will Rogers will also do some races for them, a total of two, but the number is unknown. Henderson Motorsports will once again be a part-time team uh, with NASCAR on NBC pit reporter Park Kligerman in 75 truck. The team will be will be running 10 to 12 races this season. Roper Racing will be will be the same as last year. Corey Roper will uh, will continue to be the driver in his part in his own truck part time in the 04 truck. Jordan Anderson Racing will be the same as last year. Jordan Anderson will be will drive for his own team and the three truck. More drivers will continue will drive for them as well as we need to wait a little bit longer for his first start due to him failing to qualify for the season opener. Brent Holmes Racing was started by ARCA driver Brent Holmes, who will be returning to the 32 truck for Daytona in a part-time schedule. He'll be, duty, he'll be doing a total of 10 races. Spencer Davies Motorsports and the, drive, and the driver team owner Spencer Davies will return to the series in the 11 truck. The team will be doing 3 to 4 races. Jennifer Joe Cobb Racing will continue to be the same as it has been for a very long time. Jennifer Joe Cobb will continue to drive for her own uh, for her own team part time in the 10 truck. She she will all, uh, she also failed to qualify for the season opener. The underdog team everyone loves, Norm Benning Racing, will still compete part time with owner Norm Benning driving the famous Red Six truck. FD, uh, FDNY Racing will return to the series in a part time effort. Brian Dalzad and the 28 truck will attempt to qualify for the season opener, and I think they have successfully qualified for the season opener. Now let's go over the new teams who will be competing in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. A returning team actually to the Truck Series is Cook Racing Technologies, who last competed in the Truck Series 2019 at Kentucky Speedway. The Toyota truck will also be renumbered from 42 to 84, with Clay Greenfield, who attempted to qualify for the season opener up but failed due to speed. Spire Motorsports, the Cup Series team will have a Chevy Truck Series team. The Xfinity Series driver Austin Hill as he will return to the series for the season opener in the season opener in a seven truck. The team will go part time. Mike Afferono Motorsports with Roger Carter is a team I have never heard of, but this team is an Arca Series team. We still don't know about the, we still don't know a lot about this team but hopefully more information will be announced in the future. But all we know is that the team will be doing two races this season. And finally, Toyota's Glory to God Racing, or G2G Racing, will have two full-time trucks. The new 46 truck will be driven by former NASCAR Xfinity driver and professional skydiver teacher Matt Jasko as a rookie for the team. He has failed to qualify for the season opener. While the 47 truck will be driven by team owner Team Vines for five races, Roger Reus also for five races, and the biggest surprise of the series, and the other team that he'll be racing in, Johnny Sauter, who will be doing who will be doing the remaining 13 races for them. So that's really about it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you guys on next time in the next one. Goodbye.